Hi everyone, welcome to the stream. The stream is happening right now. We're playing Valheim. Hi. Uh, and Ian's hanging out. Zach and I are here. We're hanging out. Uh, guess what came in the mail? My yellow N64 oh, controller. Yeah. Wow. Pretty pumped about it. It's pretty good. So I'll have a yellow, a green, a red, two purples, and three grays. Because <clears throat> that's just how it is, folks. Valheim time. We're, I'm not going to spend too much time talking here because I just want to spend the time playing. Oh, that's cute. Thank you. I made that one up. I actually came up with that one. Um, a lot of people credit Jimmy Carter with it, but it's actually me. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, it's very. It's a fact. It's actually on a Snapple fact. Um, <laughs> yeah, Jimmy Carter runs Snapple. Uh, anyways, a folks, great start to the stream. Uh, uh, we uh, since the last time we played this, we have portaled uh, far, far south. Uh, if you see my map here, that was our original home up here, and now we have portaled all the way to here. Uh, and then I built this little dock area. I built this bridge, uh, which is great. And then today I kind of spruced up up here. I built some stairs leading up to this new place. I've been grabbing some wood. We're deforesting like DeForest Kelly. Uh, and it's... Ugh. You know, it's running pretty is good. This joke? is my new house. What? I don't I don't get it. Did you say a joke? Yeah. Um, who's, who's DeForest Kelly? He's... Uh, uh, what's his face on Star Trek? I'm sorry. I'm distracted because I'm playing a superior game called Mindustry. Oh, no. Uh, is it Mindustry or Mindustry? I'm pretty sure it's mind industry. Mind it's industry? mind and yeah, it's mind industry. But it's also an industry. So but it's but it's also industry. No, but yeah, it, I'm gonna look it up. No, the, like the up. steel industry. But yeah, but it's M I N D, not M I N E D. Yeah, but it's industrial park. This is a bad joke. And you should stop it. <laughs> I'm gonna look it up. I don't know why this game is suddenly running like crap today. Deer just try to run over your bridge. Kill me with a sword. Weird is that? I just realized. Oh, I do have restream chat open. Over there. There's a deer on the bridge. I was trying to climb the bridge. So a lot of people are saying ministry, but I still don't have a definitive answer yet. The boar wants you, Zach. All right, you want to go? Uh... Check out something? Yeah, let's go check out. Zach found something interesting while we were offline. We're going to go check it out. I just wanted... There was wood over here. I may um, have stolen it. No, that's fine. There was just... I was watching a railing earlier today destroy one of our old workbenches. Oh, yeah, there was a workbench. Yeah. So I gathered up all the stuff that dropped. Oh, I almost died. Enough on me. Um, I did learn, Zach, the mosquitoes, uh, while hurtful, uh, have only like 10 HP. Oh, really? Yeah. <clears throat> I haven't put so it into practice. Sure I just was listening to a podcast and they were talking about it. And I was like, oh. Yeah. Of course, I need to paddle out of this little. Which way are we going? North? Uh, we're going north and then immediately cutting around this island. Thank God, because I did not want to go south. Cause... Oh, no, we're going south. No, but I mean this south side, that south river on this side oh, yeah. leads right past yeah. the plains, which I regret building the bridge over there. But I actually, uh, I was reading more explainer. So core wood is stronger than regular wood. So if I replace a lot of the beams I have with the core wood poles, it'll hold more mm -hmm. weight. So I can vault. Are you, are you encountering the bridge falling apart? Uh, right in the middle of the entire bridge is it's very red. Yeah. So I'm afraid to vault it any higher. Mm -hmm. Um. So I think I'm gonna switch out some core wood stuff, and then I believe once we get like stone and everything, that stuff works uh, even better. Yeah. Do they have drawbridges? I swear I saw they something don't. about drawbridges. The the closest I saw was a YouTube video of this hey, guy who. Hey. Hey, go get a bow. Me? There's, there's, sorry, there's uh, mosquitoes were flying towards us, but then they oh. turned around. 
uh, their, uh... Oh, yeah, I see those guys over there. Oh, he just murdered a thing. That was disgusting. Uh, I don't even know what I was saying. That's okay. But it should be fun. I want to see this strange thing you've discovered. Yeah. Well, I think we're just going to have to sail out into the ocean and then look for them. Because I found another one. The one I sent you a picture of is actually a separate one oh. than the one I stumbled across. I just need to get out far enough. Oh, dang it. How is okay. uh, Mindustry, Ian? Uh, it's pretty good so far. Um, I'm liking it. I literally just started a couple minutes ago. Pretty good. Sweet. I don't, I don't know it's why a... I'm getting like one frame every 10 minutes on your camera. Whose camera? Mine? Yeah. That's you, buddy. Well, it's Ian's For not sure. moving, so it's uh, not updating. Oh, that's weird. Um, so how you guys been? Y'all been hanging out, baby boys? Yeah, just yeah. doing things. Playing video games. I, I cleaned out most of my desk drawers today. Packed that all oh, up. Really move. Yeah. When's, uh, uh, when's move the move date? Uh, we move, our lease starts at the new place March 1st, and our lease ends here March oh. 31st, so we have an overlap month. Which is kind of nice. Yeah. Yeah, that is nice. When are you actually going to move? Uh, probably middle of March. Just start bringing over things one by one. Yeah. And it, yeah, it can't be in any container. So it's like a bag of pencils, it's a pencil at a time. Back and the rice is going to take the longest. <laughs> it really <laughs> is. Forever. I'm not looking forward to it. Hi. Hi, kitty. I see you. Oh, wonderful. Now it's going to be... Uh, Very foggy. Foggy. Hope we don't crash into this mysterious island. Yeah, we won't. Yeah, so I, I played for just a second. I sailed really far, and now I'm, I'm slightly retracing my steps, but... So, are we not going to do the mod on this server? The about, map one? Uh, yeah, the map one. Uh, yeah, we can. We just we each have to install it. Gotcha. That sounds annoying. Yeah, it's a, the client side. We yeah, are sailing around, and all of a sudden, I stumbled across this small island. And every now and then, it would just kind of bob up and down. And so I was like, that sounds like something I want to investigate on stream. So I immediately rode away from it. Game's running a little chunky. Thanks, Ed. Also, the weird, like, sea slugs in the swamp area are terrifying. Oh, there's yeah, one like the eels? Off our, yeah, there's one off our uh, stern. Gross. 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 Um, sorry, I'm distracted. This game is pretty good, honestly. No See, worries. Told you. I feel like I'm about to lose the game. <laughs> um, guess what I've been doing lately, the last couple days? Uh, d uh, having a good old time. I've been watching Stargate. <gasps> SG1? Yeah, you guys ever watch that? Yeah. Never SG1. So cool. Um, so I used to watch SG, SG1 in like 99 to like 2002, which is basically when it was on reruns a lot. And I was like, yeah, sure, I'll watch it. Um, and I'll bring it back while you explain it. Stargate. 
buy. And I've always been like, was it actually good or was it not good? You know what I mean? Yep. Um, so I finally was like, all right, I'm going to watch the movie. Movie's mm -hmm. good. Movie's actually pretty good. The first like hour is really good because it does the whole like the whole premise is like ancient artifact. What does it do? Things are weird, right? Yeah. And it does that. Oh my god! There's flying enemies in this. Why is he going so fast? Um, and it does that premise so well of like slowly unwinding the mystery, and then it just kind of becomes like a weird movie for the second hour. Yeah. I don't think I've ever uh, finished the Stargate movie. It's it's definitely worth watching. It's still pretty good. Mm -hmm. It's just, it's a bit of a letdown because the first hour is so good. You're just like, what is, what's going on? What's going to happen? You know, you yeah. just have no idea. Um, and it's really good at that. Sorry, I'm distracted. You're all right. um, I, I watched SGU. I enjoyed that. I, yeah, see, I, I never watched SGU because it started after <coughs> it started after I stopped watching Stargate. Yeah. So I was kind of like, um, I need to catch up on Stargate before I'm going to watch this, you mm -hmm. know? Um, but yeah, so then I started watching SG one and yeah, it's pretty good. It's just like, it's like Star Trek, you know, where it may not have aged perfectly, but it's good, solid sci-fi at its core. Yeah. And it's, and it's good to watch it. Um, and then the best part was, so there's 200 episodes. And I was like, man, I want to watch this show, but I don't want to watch 200 episodes. And then I found a guide of somebody who basically cut 67 episodes. They were like, you don't need to watch these episodes. You can skip them. Yeah. And it's like a guide. So I'm going through that, but but it's good. Uh, Will, you're a, a Stargate fan? Yeah. I, uh, how many seasons are there? The original one, SG-1, is 10 seasons, so 20 wanna, episodes each. I want to say I got through nine of them. There's I there's this girl I liked in high school oh, no. who liked S mm. SG-1. And all of a sudden, and, you liked SG-1. Uh, I, what I mean, a coincidence. Yeah. No, I, I actually wasn't really. I, we were more friends. But uh, anyways... Uh, oh, friend zone. I'm oh, sorry. No, also, yeah, I'm sorry to hear that, buddy. Anyway, that sucks. Um, so I watch. I want to say I didn't finish the show. I want to say I watched eight or nine seasons of it uh, in okay. like two weeks. So uh, you can tell. Oh, wow. <laughs> I, I'm so very you good. come back for two weeks and be like, suddenly I'm an expert in this. <laughs> I just walk up so to her, throw up. <laughs> uh, Is it weird how many times they blinked uh, during that episode? I think I watched Universe before I watched SG One. Universe is an amazing show, and they should bring it back. Uh, God, it's so good. You watched all that, right, Tank? Yeah, I, I honestly can't remember it uh, because my memory is that of a puppy. So forty-five seconds is usually. Yeah. Darn Man, that that show is. I, I don't know if it would hold up if I watched it again, but boy, that show was so good. It just had great. Yeah. What? And yeah, a great reason to be like a bottle episode type of show, and then they would expand that out. So, yeah, it's um, I was just saying it's it's definitely got that '90s show cheese on it, but at the same time, it has a good solid sci-fi core. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. SG One definitely. I've never seen Atlantis. Like I said, yeah, Universe and Universe ended on a note that could easily be picked back up. Who is that? It off to our left, Zach. Right. Yep. Oh, there it is. Left. Um. Universe le ended on a perfect note, and it's just has really good episodes. But yes, SG One's good. I heard Atlantis is really good. Um, uh, Atlantis, I watched the first couple of seasons. Atlantis was fun for me to watch because Atlantis like started airing right at the time where um, I was into Stargate, so I got to watch like they basically do a crossover episode to establish Atlantis. And oh. then they do Atlantis. Like, it was basically, they're like, they discover Atlantis on an SG-1 episode. And then they're like, we should set up a base here. And then they, like, bring the team into Atlantis. And then they split off into a separate TV show. And they have crossovers every That's now and then. Neat. And it was, so, it was so well done. It was like the pinnacle of Stargate fandom on sci-fi, uh, the sci-fi channel. And it was just really cool <gasps> to watch that it's happen live. Thistle Barnacle, Zach. Oh my goodness, I can see its eyes underneath the water. Where? 
uh, uh, here, jump on and, and man the rudder and zoom all the way out and then kind of be near the water. They're green eyes. Oh. Do you not, do you not see those? Oh, that's terrifying. Wait, can I mine these? Oh, no. Uh-oh. Oh. I don't think it liked that I was mining its abyssal barnacles. Zach, I got a bunch of good stuff. You did? Yeah. I'm just going to keep mining. See, I, I told you. Yeah, I'm on the boat, ready to go. Uh-oh. 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 Jump on. Jump on. Oh, I'm coming. I'm coming. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, no. I missed. I missed. Oh, ladder's on the other side. Yep. Oh, I have to swim back onto him. Oh, no. I can get it. Oh. I almost died. Okay. okay I go have on. no stamina. Go on, go on, go on. Okay. It's just going under? Oh, he's just going under. Okay. Okay, I got stuff, at least. I'm just going away, because he might just, like, pop up and be Like angry. a kaiju? That would... That... I thought I knew. That's, I didn't think I knew everything about this game, but that is one more gigantic isn't surprise. Isn't that awesome? Um, I wonder if you can kill that thing. Let's see what I got. I got Chitin, which is a, Whoa, a shard of... Is that, that's how you say that, right? I feel like that's one of those words I only ever see in RPGs. Chitin. Language. Please, come and on. then uh, I think that's all I got. How could you? Hey, that reminds me. Um, if we are gonna be doing uh, local chat as a podcast, we we actually have to stop cursing because then we will get the explicit on us if we don't. Oh, At least yeah. on iTunes, oh, yeah. we will. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we, yeah. So we gotta actually be serious about it because YouTube doesn't care that much, but iTunes will. Yeah. I feel bad for the poor sucker who's listening to every episode. How quickly does it get uploaded to iTunes? Like, do you have to physically upload it? Uh, I haven't uploaded anything because we have had... Uh, uh, we have a limit on the thing on the website oh, okay. I use because it's free. But I was actually thinking of paying for one month uploading everything and then... Oh. Yeah, that's... Being smart. able to, like, then... Because we only do technically four episodes, which should keep us underneath... Um, but, uh, yeah, it's, it's, I mean, I can do it right after the show, basically. Because I was saying you could, you could always just quickly, I guess you would have to remember where people swore, but yeah, that would be a pain in the rear end. I was just trying to check, do they still label stuff explicit on podcasts? Uh, I think like, they do, yeah. Because, like, Bombcast and Beastcast aren't labeled that. So, Will. Interesting, sorry. Now that we know that monster doesn't rise out and attack us. Supposedly. We should both just jump on the next time. Yes. Because, yeah, and then kind of run to the boat. Because worst case, I mean, we drown. Worst case. Yeah. What if you could trap it. Well, I guess you couldn't, because you couldn't build. Yeah, I, there was another one over here, but if I don't find it in the next little bit, I will uh, just turn around and head back. Yeah, that was that was terrifying. Oh, we're really yeah. far south. Yeah, so I've, I've been all the way over here. This is all swamp over here. Oh, wow. Oh, wow, that... I, okay, that makes sense. The ocean biome is different on the map. Yeah. I don't think I realized that before. Is that one off to our right? No, that's all uh, planes. Oh, gotcha. I'm going to head over here. This is, I think, where I saw that other one. Okay. And then yeah, if we don't find it, we'll just head right back. It's not. Oh, there's a sea serpent right ahead of us. Oh, I've never seen a sea serpent. It's off to our uh, left now. Uh, it definitely is moving faster than us. Uh, I turned down my draw distance. So. Actually, I could probably. Oh, oh, oh I see my... it. There's an island off to the left too. Yeah, I see that. Oh, I see that serpent. is a sea serpent. 
dear god. Um, He's serping. Zach? I can't do anything. Maybe sail with the wind completely behind? Well, I guess that wouldn't matter. Oh no, the wind's shifting. I think we're fast enough that when he goes to attacks, he has to stop to attack. That's probably what it is, yeah. I would like to fight him, but I don't want to anger him. That Do you want to... Uh, yeah, shoot some arrows at him. Oh, what if he... I don't know how much damage it does. Oh, I, I could actually... Ow. Oh, he got you real good. Oh, he did. Need to back up. I need to let my stamina recharge. Uh, I would like to heal faster, please. Oh, he disappeared. Oh, he was almost dead. That's annoying. Well, that was terrifying. That was absolutely. I almost died. I had three health. Hey, do you have any uh, other food besides meat? Nope. Oh, I have honey. Never mind. Can I have some honey? Yeah, I'll put it in the ship storage. There's ship storage? Yeah. It's right up here. There's only four of it. What? It's amazing. <laughs> this game just got even better. Twice as good. Twice as good. All right, I'm headed. I'm headed home. If we pass that rock, we can stop. Yeah, that's fine. Is that one ahead of us? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Directly ahead of us. <laughs> nice. It's some more abyssal. Okay, I'm gonna put the bow. So let's the... before we mine, let's explore it. I think it was okay, the mining that, that made it angry. Mm, made it angry. Oh, also when I was building the house today, uh, a mosquito just flew over and killed me. Oh nice. And, That's fun. Yeah. Oh, can't quite get on here. Come on. Come on. Jump it. Jump it. Okay, I'm up. Oh, there's trees up here, too. Wow, oh, this is neat. What kind of trees? Just seem like normal trees. Okay, so where's the boat? So we should probably stay near the boat. Yeah. I'm gonna... I'll mine this little bit here. Okay. I'll mine this right here. Not like this. Oh, wow. I can make an abyssal harpoon now? Yeah. Oh, I should not have chose to mine here because these plates shift. Karen, we're on a giant monster in the middle of the ocean. All right. Yeah. I think that's sinking it for back us. in the water now. Yep. It's like one of the turtles from uh oh from Pokemon. Yeah, that's a good that's a good reference. It's like the thing uh, it's like the turtle in uh Discworld. Today's 25 years of one of the worst franchises ever devised by man. It's a good franchise. I forgot Ian was here. <laughs> <laughs> I I I think yeah, I just don't care for Pokemon. Well, I grew up on it too. Yeah, I grew up hating it because they suck. Yeah. And I'm glad to be uh, vindicated. Not really vindicated, but I watched that Pokemon Direct and I thought that remake of 
Diamond and Pearl looked like absolute dogs, but I'm, no, it doesn't look like absolute dogs, but that's the other game they showed. Yes, uh, that does too. But people agreed with me that they should have tried yeah, to maintain it, the art style and not make it cheap. From let's from from let's go. Yes, yeah, they made it too cheap. And I was like, Ugh. yeah, that other game. But also, people being like, don't 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 compare it to Breath of the Wild. I was like, what do you like? That's the major comparison point of like an open world game Honestly, on the I Switch. I don't think it is. I. I don't really think it is. I mean, it, it does look a little similar, but it's not. It's no, not no, I agree. World. It looks a little similar, but I'm saying yeah. oh, an open world game that's capable on the Switch. Like, that's but an open there, world there game that's coming to Pokemon. Phoenix Rising? No, I'm, I'm saying it's direct. Breath of the Wild as well. It's another direct Nintendo game. Quote, unquote, direct yeah, Nintendo yeah. game. I just I think... Mean, is, the, uh, is Mario Odyssey a Breath of the Wild? Yeah, but Mario Odyssey is not open world. <laughs> Hey, Will, kind of is. It's got big open world areas. these trees down real quick? Uh, I don't... Yeah, I mean, we can if you want. I feel like... That game does not look good, and my only hope is oh, that no, they showed mind. it off way too early. No, I agree. They did. What? Gotcha. I like collecting video games. I think the mechanics of Pokemon are... Uh, are you arguing with with Karen off stream? Yes, she just had to <laughs> yeah. come over here. <laughs> also, do you You're see that wrong. house? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we can stop and grab one of these trees if you want to, Zach. Well, I, I was about to, and then one of those eel things was running towards, or two of them were coming towards me, so. It's just a house. I think it's like a witch's hut, but it's spawned yeah. out here. It's crazy. Oh yeah, there's look at those the guys over there. I had a lizard's tail too. I completely lied to you. <laughs> Alright, what are you doing? Why'd you just stop here? I'm just looking. Okay, that was terrible. Oh, it's a bridge. If you want to like pull that. in a little bit closer, we can get one of these trees. At least try to. Oh, there's one of those things right off our right bow. Oh, Just so they don't attack the boat. Attack oh, it's a leech. I guess that makes worse. Oh, wow. You're very dangerous. Ow. 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 I oh, oh, die. there's a slime. There's a slime. Yep, I'm dead. Yep, the leeches poison you. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. You guys dead? Nope. I'm alive. I'm dead. Good job. I did the dead thing. Ah, dang, my body's so far away. Use the rudder. Oh, there's like seven leeches in the slime. Oh, that's terrifying. Okay, I'm coming back home. Yeah, good idea. Can you ping home? Thank you. He also oh, got a big island in between you. That's okay. Ooh. That was terrifying. I'm so far away. Doesn't anybody stay? In wow. Meat, lizard's place? tail, and honey. I got 103 health. Pretty good combo. Alright, I'll just wait for you to come back and then, uh. Then you can go right back here. Yeah. Could have built a portal. Shuttle to Parator. Actually, I'm gonna run to the bathroom while I wait for you to come back with the boat. The IRL bathroom. It's my favorite bathroom. Mm. I'll be right back. My favorite bathroom is yours. Ugh, that is...
is an old seltzer I just drank from. Ugh. Wasn't even busy. Alright, nope. I think I'm pretty good here. How the so industry pretty comparable, comparable to uh Factorio? Yeah, so far. Um, I mean it's definitely got its differences, but so far it seems pretty good. Did I show you that Song of Six game? It's like uh oh. It's kind of like so. RimWorld, but it's got like this cool graphic style, but you control all of these. I think you more direct control than RimWorld, but and you like build them houses and all stuff and you like build up this huge army of people and then you can go like fight battles and stuff. Mm -hmm, that does sound pretty like neat. fun. What, where am I going? Uh-oh, Zach. Oh, Zach. Oh, Zach, you need to come back be alive. Maybe too late for that. The forest is moving on him. Uh, this game also does the neat thing where, like, waves affect your ship. So, like, oh, I was is... sailing in a straight line, but I wasn't because I was getting pushed around. Yeah. Uh, Zach, the force is moving around you. Oh, I... Oh, no. Why? Oh, the force rests again. Oh, thank God. I was genuinely concerned. How long was it doing that? No idea. Because I only on. noticed when I looked at the map. Zach, if you're near a workbench, do you want to check the new stuff we can build? I just want to see what, yeah. what I need for what. Crafting station needs a roof. God. That's the worst. Abyssal harpoon. I need 30 chitin. Three leather, leather scraps and eight fine wood. I mean, I keep saying it, but language, please. <laughs> oh, wait, are you chitting me? That's all I need? <laughs> wow! The, uh, how much chitin do you have? I have ten chitin. God, okay, someone. you need twenty to make a razor. Gotcha. Is, is chintin a thing? C-H-I-N-T-I-N? Tintin is... <laughs> Oh, don't even get me started on Tintin. I We've talked about Tintin. I keep telling my parents to watch that movie because I know they would love it. And every time they're like, uh, we don't watch it. It's like the animation looks kind of... We don't like three... We don't like We're just not movies. into kids' movies, so... Like, it's like a good Indiana Jones movie. That, okay, first of all, you, I, I think you said that. I didn't... I said the wrong inflection. It's like another good know. Indiana Jones movie. Oh, it's... oh wow. It's pronounced Kai Tin. Kai Tin. Wait, can you can you look no, up? No, it's not. It's not. It's don't don't pronounce it. Kite in. It's Kai Tin. Kai, Kai tin. tin. And then what is is C H I N T I N a thing? C H I N. Say it one more time. C H I N T I N. Just put an N after Kai. Sorry, guys. I have an important question. What does sector captured mean? In industry. Uh, it means that there's no more enemies are going to attack your base, so you can just kind of make it perfect. Yes! Um, and then Jintin. another quick question. Go ahead. The planet map, do these connect to each other? So, like, this first base that I have, this first sector I've cleared, I should keep building it, and then as I continue the game, they will link together? I don't know. I honestly have no idea. And, and But I know, like, it will run... You can will continue to build up stuff into your core. Across sectors? Yeah. Oh, okay. I don't know how it works. So, Zach, where I am on the map is is a swamp. 
it's just in the middle of nowhere there's like two islands yeah oh no oh no i need to watch the stream to see if uh, there's a big delay on obs ninja there is i don't know what it is for you well, no. Exactly. no so i'm looking at obs ninja and my voice doesn't even match up my video on obs ninja mm. So I probably I'm... because OBS is introducing a delay, but you can. Probably because. Yeah. Oh, oh God! No. Please, please stop! Delay. Please stop! Oh, no. I did find out the um, uh, the problem on my end. Karen had set the Xbox to finish downloading something. Oh, okay. <laughs> please um, no. Yeah. So so Zach, in OBS, if you know exactly what the delay is, you can delay any input. Oh, that's cool. Or, or add a, I don't know what the alternative of a delay is but you can add that yeah yeah there's a bit of a delay but maybe i'll maybe i'll kill this for and then do i mean for next stream i won't do go through obs until i can figure out the delay yeah what i've done is i in in what well, in obs ninja is it capturing your microphone and then obs as your camera so OB, uh no microphone's going through oh through uh, discord discord right. Right, so yeah, that's gonna be that'll be hard to dial in. Yeah, and it could change depending on because it it wasn't delayed at the beginning of the stream, so that's why I think I'll just I won't go through OBS Studio next time, and Will will just zoom in the camera for me. Yeah, yeah. Because what I've I'll done be before is when it's all in OBS, I just record, and then I go into Premiere and I just match it up and figure out what the delay is. But because mm -hmm. the voice delays in Discord, it's gonna be harder for you to figure that out. Oh yeah. Man, I will say cutting those clips for the short stuff is very relaxing and also, like, kind of nice. That reminds me. I think we should stop doing shorts on YouTube um, because it's in our it's in our channel feed. And it like like when I open my YouTube app, it shows our shorts like it's a normal video. Uh... It's crap. So I think I do think we should continue doing them, especially on TikTok. But I, I much as I hate doing this, I think we have to make a subpixel shorts channel on youtube oh yeah that's the worst yeah it's like the only reason why people create multiple channels on youtube is because youtube is not good enough at allowing you to differentiate your content and how it's delivered yeah. to people yeah i'm fine with doing that okay yeah i, I think we keep making them because i think they are good especially on tiktok it's just they do crazy i hate you well on tiktok yeah i just hate that um when I open my YouTube, like on my Xbox, it shows like my subscriptions. And in the middle of all that feed is like our short videos. And it's like, why is this here? I am not viewing this on a phone. I'm not in the shorts tab or whatever. Why is it coming up like this? And I think we're gonna start losing subscribers because of that, so. Excuse me. Is this game running so poorly? I turned up for honest. Probably. I'm sleeping, Zach. Okay. I'm headed back to a bed. Copy. Very stormy out. Being chased by a thousand animals. Karen is cooking uh what I believe is it's like marinating steak and then it like becomes shredded steak and it's like in these tacos that have cheese melted on the tortillas and all this stuff. Carne asada? No, it's Burudi Djibouti. Let me look it up. Jibbutl. Oh, I'm going to have salmon for dinner. Ooh, I love, you know, ever since you, pretty sure it was you going there and having salmon, I, I have enjoyed salmon a lot more. Salmon's just like, it's really easy to make. Mm -hmm. I usually do salmon, some rice, and then like asparagus or um, shallots. It's just like super easy to make, super healthy. Super oh, yeah. Tasty. Rolling back. Almost there. All right. I'm in bed. Um, legendary. Sorry, legendary is not part of it. It's the name of the video. <laughs> uh, 
birria quesa tacos? Hmm. Why? Why? Me, uh... The time has come. Oh, I don't want to play another man's YouTube video on my stream. You never play another man's YouTube video. It's daytime. I'm taking the boat. Oh, looks good. I, uh, so I've been doing a meal kit for like year and a half now um just works really well because i'm lazy yeah um and it has gotten me really good at not just cooking but also turns out that um they have very good mexican food recipes <laughs> Like, you guys ever do taco night when you're a kid and it was just like ground beef, taco seasoning, yep. shredded lettuce, cheese. It's like, it's like, it's not bad. It's just generic. Yeah. Yeah. I've been making some like really good taco stuff, you know, like black bean pepper onion tostados mm. and like, like mushroom pepper quesadillas. And it tastes really good. Like lime crema sauce, pineapple salsa. So I've gotten good at making like I don't want to say authentic Mexican food, but like much better. Yeah, I feel yeah. like there's oh, there's a place in my heart for like ground beef seasoned tacos. Like it's like when I crave oh. Domino's, I get Domino's, like that sort of thing. But yeah, yeah. I feel yeah. like no, there see, was... I'm, I'm the opposite. Well, our our yeah, that was exactly it was it was cheese, sour cream, and ground beef in a like a cold tortilla, and making homemade tortillas or even just like heating up the tortillas. Uh, on a on a skillet, uh, just yeah. so good. Yeah. Meal kits though, they're pretty good. They um, yeah. The we, one... We've done a meal kit for the past year and a half too, and it's been incredible. Do you use every plate? No, we are using dinnerly. Okay, I don't know. So I I went through a period where I tried like five or six of them. I don't think I tried dinnerly. I may have. And yeah. I ended up going with every plate because every plate was basically the same as all of them. It's just that it's only $5 per serving and all the other ones are $10 per serving. Yeah. Well, that was, the, was that's like, why we went dinnerly, dinnerly because I yeah. think it was like four fifty per serving. And yeah. they had vegetarian options because uh, Shelby doesn't eat meat. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I've also been eating a lot of vegetarian. Not intentionally, just... They have a lot yeah. of good vegetarian recipes, like the the black bean and pepper tostadas, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. And and we do we do fish, so salmon. And, so I've uh, – generally has made me aware of shrimp are really easy to cook and amazing. Yeah. The and only thing is I, I hate it when they're shelled. Oh, yeah. I mean, yeah. When, I hate them when they come with the shell. I don't mm -hmm. want that. I don't want to mess with that. Yeah. Generally will give yeah. you a little – it's a little, like, plastic packet of fresh, fresh frozen shrimp in them. And it's, oh, it's so good. Nice. That does sound good. You don't have any core wood in your house, do you? Uh, I don't believe so. We'll oh, go real stormy out. I got a recipe for a bonfire. Ooh. Oh, what does it taste like, though? <laughs> it's a good joke. Good joke. <laughs> yeah. I wonder if we can tame these uh, mix between a um, griffin and oh no, why can't I think? I've 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 lost my Star Wars street cred. What's the uh, Tuscan Raider rides on? Bantha. Uh, Bantha. Is it a Bantha? Yeah, it's not. Oh, wow. the, I thought that was the. the I thought that was the lizard. No, lizards are dewback. Oh, that's a, that's a dewback. Yep. <sighs> Okay, I guess I got some street cred back because, because I said I it right before Tuscan you did. Raider and Bantha or, or and do bag. <laughs> That's funny. That reminds me, I should probably rewatch Rogue One because I didn't like it when it came out, but maybe I should give it another shot. Yeah. yeah. I was trying to think of the last action movie that I liked. Well, that that, that was like really good. Fallout? Fallout? Uh, Mission Impossible? Oh. 
Yeah, but even there, even there, there's little sections that I didn't enjoy. Like when uh, Henry Cavill wasn't on screen? Yeah, it's true. When he wasn't <laughs> cocking his fists. <laughs> when the movie attendant asked me to leave because, sir, you can't masturbate in this theater. <laughs> you cannot moan <laughs> to this entire movie. They did a hand check and I refused to put my hands up. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't doing nothing. I just... Oh, wait. <laughs> Maybe I was. Um, um, yeah. It's a good movie. That's offensive. Well, something, something. Yeah, this game seems fun. It, it does seem... I don't want to say aimless, but I'm kind of... Yeah. I feel like most of these games are just like build. Here's your tech tree. Where this is adding stuff on top, but it's a little confusing. <laughs> Yeah. Um, what was I going to say? It's really, that's why I liked it for mobile, because I could literally, if I was at a doctor's office in the waiting room, that would be the game I would play. And then yeah. the next second I would be like, oh, I, it's been six hours and everyone's gone. I think I, I'm sorry, guys. I think I'm, I think I'm going to give up on this game. I don't think it's bad. I'm just not in the mood for it. It's all right. Oh, I, I, I oh. mean, I played it for a couple days straight and then I stopped, so. You know what I'll show off? I'll show off um, the model that I did last weekend. I printed it. I have some updates. Okay. So this is it. Oh, oh. Yeah. yeah. So it's pretty good, but let's let's say like there's a hundred different things on here that I had to get right, measurements and stuff. Let's say like 95% of them are right. So it works pretty well. There's the well for the cable. I'll throw the cable in here real quick so you can kind of see it. So you see it does like that. Ooh. It works pretty well. Um, I did find this cool technique. Zach, you may you may use this in the future. Mm -hmm. So I had these holes for the nuts, for M3 yeah. nuts. And the yeah. holes ended up being a little bit too tiny. But then I just put the nut on top and I put a soldering iron on it. And it just melted Ooh. right into it. Ooh. That's and I've a been, smart idea. I've been torquing it like crazy and it holds. So, so you still have to make the hex shape. Mm -hmm. You just burn the nut into the hex shape. So it grips... Both because it's melted and because it's in the correct shape. But it, yeah, it works really cool. well. That's such um, a smart idea. I do have some problems with this design, though. It, it works. It totally works. I was using it for a couple days. Number one, the reference pegs, they didn't have the right draft on them. Mm -hmm. So I actually broke one off while I was putting it together because I had to slam them home. The other one was, you can probably see the problem right here. This one oh, it flexes because it's too thin. So when I put it together with the foam in it, it doesn't actually hold the right shape. Mm -hmm. And so you oh. put the phone in and it's flexing. And it's just enough flex that if you go over a bump, the phone will twist sideways and, pop and out. come off the connector. Yeah. So I was like, okay, well, I need a better design. So here's my second design. This is the back piece now. So it comes all in one. Oh, and there's the reference point. It switches. Yeah. And then you there's wanna... there's the little pegs down here. And so now the front is this, and it just goes on top. Clippy cloppy. Yeah. Um, I'm still using the screws. I was thinking about doing clips, but the thing about clips is it's very hard to do clips right on a 3D printer. And I was like, I'll just have the screws visible. Mm -hmm. um, two problems with this one, though, that don't... It still works, but it's not done, which is basically number one is... So these side pieces, you can probably see it down here. I have a little reference peg. Well, it's not a peg. It's like a reference piece that goes into this. I'm trying to get it to focus. Mm -hmm. That goes into that slot on the bottom so that when it slots together, this won't flex at the bottom because it's actually going into the bottom piece. Problem was they were not mating up properly. I had to do a lot of sanding with the Dremel. So I resized those. The other problem is basically this side to side mm -hmm. is about a millimeter too narrow. I mean, sorry, it's like 0.1 millimeters too narrow for the phone. Mm -hmm. So I can slide my phone in and out of this, but it takes so much force that I'm not sure how I'm going to mount this in the car yet. I just have it in like a generic phone holder. It takes so much force that it's like wrenching the phone holder to bring it in oh, and out. Yeah. So basically it's it's a smidge too tight for the phone case. Mm -hmm. 
So I have a new design. It's printing right now where basically all I did was I cut the side of my phone case is basically like a it's, it's not quite a half circle, but it's an arc. So I cut an arc in these sides to match it. Um, and then I fixed the reference notch. So I'm not saying this is final, but I think this one's feeling pretty good. That reminds me, I'll be right back. I should go check that print. I'm going to restart my game because it's running like poop. I do that server. Ah, oh, nuts. I'm gonna die. Oh, you're kidding me. Did you die again? I'm about to. No. Oh. Come on. Oh, I survived. Okay, daddy's back. Yeah, the print, the print's still going. Um, but honestly, the biggest challenge I have with this is how to mount this in my car. Um, and I'll describe the design challenges and choices I have here, which is basically, I still want to be able to access the phone while it's in the dock. Because there are times where I want to touch the phone screen even while I'm driving. Not while I'm actively driving, but I'm at a stoplight and I know I got a work email and I want to just be able to like flick down the notification and check it real quick, you know? Yeah. If I didn't have to do that, I could put this thing like upside down in a radio cubby and just slide the phone in. That would be awesome, but I have to be able to see and touch the phone. Um, the other problem is I basically need like a four inch by seven inch blank space on my dash somewhere within reach of me to put this because mm -hmm. the idea is like you know let's imagine this is my dash it would be perfect if i had a blank space like this because then i could just literally heavy duty velcro it here and mm -hmm. i'm done i don't have that space on my dash anywhere i can see because it's all curves and stuff and plastic so i don't know i gotta figure it out yeah <laughs> yeah i'm not sure i may end up I may end up popping some of my dash panels off and putting in like threaded inserts into the dash panel and then semi modeling like a curved back to this so that it'll flush mount to that panel and then mm -hmm. I can just screw it in through the back piece. Yeah, that honestly um, is probably the best idea. Yeah, it's just the problem is I, I haven't done a full in depth of it, but I was looking at my plastic dash and there's not a lot of pieces that come off easily. You know, there's not like chunk pieces that I could just be like, let me take this chunk yeah. off, modify it, put it back. It all starts from the bottom and then you, it's all kind of, as soon as you take off the bottom panel, there's screws for the t next panel. Yep. Yeah. And the, and the pieces that I look at, the places that I look at that are good spots are part of like the big piece of dash that go across the entire thing, like single piece. So mm. yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not sure what I'm going to do, but, um, I'll figure it out. Once this is done, I can basically run it for a couple of weeks in a normal phone holder and make sure it's working. And then yeah. I just need to work on basically the back piece. What does that look like? And that's going to depend on where it's going on the dash because I may have to match up to a weird curve or something like that. Anyways, 3D printing. It's hella cool. Yeah. Hella cool. I know. I'm excited to <clears throat> get in my new place everything mm. set up and then be like oh what do i have room now as far as things i can purchase for uh that reminds me and stuff i was gonna tell you i saw on tiktok today okay. that um elegoo has come out with an fdm printer the thing about elegoo is they are known for their super low cost i'm talking like 300 dollar resin 3d printers 250 dollar resin 3d printers that are very cheap and very good they came out with a fdm 3d printer that is drum roll please 
$160. Oh, what? boy. How big? I believe it's the same size as the Prusa Mark III Mini, which is oh, a little yeah. bit smaller than the Ender 3. Yeah. And somebody just did a real quick video on TikTok, and they were like, I printed both of these side by side on my Prusa Mark III Mini, which is like 350 or 400 mm -hmm. and my Elegoo or 160 and he was like, it looks incredible. I can't tell the difference between the two. So it's very quick. I'll have to do some more research for you, Will, but it sounds like you could get one dirt cheap for 160 yeah. because if you don't, if you're not really printing like, if you're not printing like eight by eight by 10 inch things, then you don't necessarily need to go with an Ender 3. Gotcha. Um, and you can get it an even cheaper. But so how, me, how will I make my Mandalorian helmet? Piece by piece. Glue it. <laughs> um, that is that resin printing. No, it is it is FDM. It is FDM. So here it is. Elegoo released a new th FDM 3D printer that's just one hundred and sixty dollars, and it's surprisingly great. It's a Neptune two. The build area is two hundred twenty millimeters by two hundred twenty millimeters by 250 millimeters. So it's it's about the same as my Ender 3, but a little bit not as tall, maybe? I don't know. Let me look this up. Yeah, that sounds awesome. Why is this? Yeah, and I'm just looking at pictures of the printer, and it has... I mean, nothing standing out as me is, like, bad quality. It, it looks pretty good. I mean, also $160 isn't that bad of a, like, ah, I got scammed into a bad printer budget. Yeah. But I mean, that's the thing is, I don't think you would see pick3dprinter.com gave it an 8 out of 10. Yeah, maybe I'll go with that. What's the, uh, what space does the entire printer take up? Uh, let me check. Sorry, I'm looking at this review, but it doesn't have a timestamp on it. Is, is it called? It's, maybe it's not the... What is this called? Neptune 2. Okay, here we go. This review went up 22 hours ago. It's an outstanding 3D printer. $160 US dollars. Uh, it's a small footprint. It looks like it's maybe be, let's say 12 by 12 by 24. It's pretty small. I don't know why this game is suddenly running horribly. It doesn't have auto bed leveling, but honestly, you're okay without that. I don't have it and I'm fine with it. And you can always add it later. Um, they said print quality is great. Heated bed, which is very important. Mm -hmm. Yeah, these test files are showing great stuff. Uh, Will, the uh, Abyssal Harpoon is like one of the greatest weapons in this game. Oh, but we should because try it will it will pin bosses into place. Oh. So, we should try to get some of those. Yeah. So at some point, I think maybe with Chris, when he, if he comes on at any point, uh, we should go get. Yeah. So this Neptune 2 has the same build area as my printer. And it looks like it's basically the same size as mine. And you've seen mine. Mine's not that big. Yeah. I, I have mine set up on one of those Ikea square coffee tables, coffee side tables. So it basically fits on that. And then I have a drawer underneath it. And that's all the room that it takes up. So it's basically like a two by two foot. Right. So it's the Neptune 2. Yeah, and I can. Yeah, the Neptune 2. I, I think I have that same coffee table, but shorter. Um, well, that's the thing is it, it comes, it only comes in the shorter. But what I did was I ditched the legs it came with and I bought four uh, of those adult legs and just screwed them in the bottom. So yeah. Because I, that lifted up enough. So then I got like the $50 metal drawer from ikea underneath it so total it was like 60 bucks for that table and a drawer in the right yeah, that's height. perfect thing yeah because i can if i don't have enough room on my second desk for modeling i can just put it on that next to it regardless yeah um 
but yeah, I mean, I, I would check the reviews a little bit more, but this is this looks better than if you're getting a little bit more serious, you wouldn't want to look at the what is it, the CR6 SE for 350. But if you're just getting started, man, this 160 looks great. Yeah, this is basically my awesome. printer. My printer for 160. A lot of the features look nearly identical. So and there's plenty of upgrades you can make to it in the future. Yeah, 3D printing, it's definitely really cool. It's just, it's one of those things where you you get from it what you put into it in terms of time spending with it, time designing products, figure, figuring out what you want, what you need. Yeah. Things like that. It's cool, though. Oh, that reminds me. My next one is, um, so during the 24 hours of Daytona, I crashed into a wall. <laughs> and this, the reason why I crashed into a wall Thankfully, I didn't have any damage. Was I hit the brake pedal and I I added a load cell brake pedal recently, which requires like it actually measures the force. So you have to be more forceful with your braking. And I hit the brakes and my chair slid back like an inch <laughs> and it threw off my braking. I went onto the grass and into the wall. Um, oh. Thankfully, again, no damage. There was only like six hours left in the race at that point. I was like, oh, OK, all right, I'm not damaged. We're, we're OK. Um, <laughs> But what I need to make now are these little tiny brackets almost that are basically going to, on one end, grab the bottom of my wheel stand and on the other end, grab the legs of the chair. So kind of like link them together so that they won't slide anymore. But I've got to That's figure awesome. that out and design it. Uh, head back home. Okay. How's Valheim going? Everything okay over there? That's yeah, all right. How's, your, how's heading back to your body? I'm I'm already home. I got my body. Oh, nice. Yeah. Uh, I'm trying to think of what we can do next. Uh, I don't know about. I mean, we can call it if you guys want to. Hanging out. Yeah. Eh. Eh. I mean, I'm gonna keep playing this regardless, but we didn't yeah, want to play it in front of an audience of zero people. I had a, I had a moment the other day where I was like, I should probably play Valheim, but. I feel like I am now too far behind. And I also, I don't think I want to play it solo. So I'm just going to. Yeah. Well, that, that happened when, when I jumped on uh, two nights ago. Uh, Will and Chris had been playing for a while, had done the portal and started building a new place. And I got on, I was just like, this is too much to, yeah. like, it's, our, it's not our little farm anymore. So I was just like, ah, I got to get off and. And and so then I came on yesterday, and then I kind of like could reset and be like, oh okay, now I'm now I feel like I'm I'm at this point where they were. So yeah, I think I'm going to hold off until we do sandbox. Which when do you think we'll do sandbox? We can't do it too soon to this. I mean, we can. Uh, yeah, it, it it's whatever because we've only yeah. well, we've only streamed it twice, so. If you wanted to do sandbox, like honestly, I wouldn't mind if we just started over. Mm -hmm. We're not that far. Yeah, maybe we should. Because I think basically the options now are we either do it right now or we wait six to nine months until there's like a major patch or something like that, you know? Yeah. Yeah, I like if you're seriously should. interested in playing it, like uh, we can start a new, what? new save. Well, you know, since we're talking about it, let me look at our stream schedule because I'm pretty sure we have a bunch of gaps coming up anyways. We do. So maybe, I mean, I don't want to force this on you guys, but maybe Tuesday we start a fresh save. Is that okay with you guys? I really don't want to do that to you if you don't want to. Yeah, that's fine with me. Yeah, I'm, I'm actually fine with that. What about Chris? So uh, you got a person with yeah, I, I'm sure he'd be fine with it. I mean, he runs, he runs on another server anyway, so. Plus, the other thing is, Zach and I, I mean, we technically load our characters in, but we can come in naked. Oh, because it's like Terraria, like you can bring in a save? Yeah, like your character is your character. So whatever your, is on your character, if I go on someone else's server, I have everything that was on me. Oh, weird. But I'm kind of okay with that, because maybe that'll make the start a little bit easier for Sandbox. Yeah, like we'll have all our skills and everything. Yeah. The other thing you know, is, like, you're I... not that far behind us. Like, you show up, you just pick up yeah. stuff. Like, I I, 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 I know what you're saying, but I feel like you would pick it up in a day. Okay. 
let's do okay let's let's plan on that i'll host it since i haven't been hosting and i and i've got time to make this stuff anyways for sandbox okay um yeah if you guys are cool with that we'll do that tuesday yeah and i can also just save this the save and download it all that yeah. stuff so. and we can get chris on if he wants to be on as well yeah yeah you know what? That sounds good. I should probably go buy the game right now. I'm going to commit to this by buying the game live on stream. Right now. Wow, live on You know what it was that um, convinced me? What? It was Danny O'Dwyer had a Twitter thread. Well, it wasn't really a thread. He basically just said, I want to hear from game developers who are loving Valheim as much as I am. Why? Why do you like it so much? What do you think it does well? And it was just all these game developers saying things like, oh, it does the progression really smart. Like, I remember one one of them said it does a really good job of implementing and inverting the typical survival mechanics. Yeah. And I forget, somebody said, like, they change a must into a can. So in a lot of games, it's like you must eat yep. to survive. And in Valheim, it's like you can eat to get a bonus. Yeah. So, like, um, your health is base... 25 i think and you don't have to eat but mm -hmm. i i've eaten you can eat up to three different things and i've eaten three different things i have 84 health now and my stamina is high yeah that's that's definitely one of the coolest things they've done yeah and that that was one that really got me in was all these people just saying these like game developers saying they did this really smart they did this really smart and i'm like okay all right okay all right add to cart purchase for myself don't make me do purchase for myself cart. But just for also, the other thing, Ian, if you just want to play it a little bit mm -hmm. uh, and check it out and then hop in here and be like, if this is too much, not too much. Because honestly, no, I, like, I like we... the, yeah, I like the idea of sandbox because it forces me to commit to the game at least for, yeah. for six, seven episodes. You know, because my, my concern is that I know myself. My concern is that I'm going to find enough excuses to push the game away even though i'm pretty sure i will eventually like it so sandbox forces me to commit portal i have clicked the purchase button i have purchased the game yay and you already have a server right yep that's what everything's running on okay so you heard it there first Tuesday, more Valheim, but as Sandbox, we're going to start fresh. We're going to have something exciting going on. Fresh. It should be fun. It's going to be annoying. Fresh maker. A little tent. Uh, folks, I think we're going to call it there. Uh, I'm going to keep playing, but I don't know why the game's running so crappy right now. It's just hot. You know, you know. Uh, you can check out all of our cool, cool stuff. Subpixelfilms.com. Bring you all the archives. Man, it smells great in my apartment because food is cooking. Uh, until then, check us out on Tuesday. More Valheim. It'll be a good time. Good, good time. Ian will stream for once. And then on Thursday, we're going to have more delicious local chat with special guest. Can't tell you. It's a secret. It's so a tune secret. in to find out. Okay. Bye, everyone. Have a great day. Bye. Good weekend. Bye.